In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change your fonts on your Squarespace website. Let's get into it. So here we are on a demo website. This is actually my scale creative wireframes is the website I use to start all my projects and it's a template I sell as well. What you're gonna wanna do is either click styles right here in the navigation or you're gonna to wanna to click this little paintbrush here and that's gonna get you into the editor. Before I do that though, I do want to choose my design page because I have all these sections pre-built of the different look and feel of the font so I can get a sense of what it's gonna actually look like. All right, so I have all 10 sections built here. From here, let me go to this section here. I'll click the paintbrush. You'll know you'll be able to change the font once you see site styles on this menu on the right. Right here is the section for fonts. Now, if you click here, it's gonna give you a few pre-selected options, which some of them are really cool. But if you wanna get very granular, you're gonna to wanna to click the arrow, and then this is gonna give you full control. In here, you can click all font packs, and then start to choose from a lot of different options, which are great starting points. From there, you can go into headings and paragraphs. So based on Squarespace's setup, all heading fonts are the same and all paragraph fonts are the same. So you have different stylings. For headings, you have H4, 3, 2, and 1. Those four heading styles are all gonna be the same exact font and weight and style. All right, so if I go to headings here and I change this one to, let's just choose a random font. So you'll see here, whatever I set as these settings here will be applied to all headings, which in some cases is great and in some cases is not ideal. In this case, it works. You could change the font according to the specific sizing that you want. You could do that however you like, but when it comes to actually choosing the font, you do need to choose a font that is gonna be the same for all. If you wanna custom code it, you could use custom code to adjust that. But let's just say we wanna choose this font here, and then we're gonna go text transformation and do it all uppercase. Boom, there we go, there is that. From there, we'll be able to go in and change the paragraph font. Same thing here, you have paragraph one, two, and three, and as you make an adjustment here, definitely don't want that font. Let's see, I am just choosing random fonts. Choose something that's a little bit sensible. Let's just say we really like this font here. Okay, great. Then we'll set the, the weight to the font. Okay, perfect. So we set it at 400, line height, letter spacing, text transformation. Again, all of these styles here apply to all of the three different stylings, and then you could adjust the size accordingly. Big recommendation here, paragraph two, you actually want it to be closer to one. That is the base font size, and then you could change the base font size here, which is 18. So if it's one rem, that equals 18 pixels. And then it'll adjust accordingly for desktop, mobile, tablet, all the different sizes. So if I make this bigger, it makes all the fonts bigger in proportion, which is awesome and very designer friendly with just a few clicks. So I'm going to set it back to 18 and there we go. From there, you could continue to make adjustments with the buttons and miscellaneous fonts, and then even go into depth about assigning styles to specific font headings and sections. So let's say the site navigation here is set to just emulate what paragraph is and the sizing is paragraph two. So if I wanted it to be a little bigger, I could easily go paragraph one and then it'll emulate whatever size we have for paragraph one. If you wanna customize it, you just select custom down here and then you can adjust it accordingly to your preference. Here it's choosing the styling of paragraph so what I'd like to do is actually make it more the heading styling and then change it to custom because I do need it to be a little bit bigger, which 0.8 is too small. So we're gonna go one point, well, three is huge, 1.2, which there we go. Again, this is not my favorite font at all, but I'm giving you some options. If you are trying to choose the right fonts, I do have another video online that walks through font pairing. And if you want even more depth on that, I do have a font starter kit, which is a paid digital product that you can get to get access to videos that are not online that walk you through how to choose the right fonts, sizing, spacing, all of that. Okay, so I just changed it back to actually paragraph for a second, and then I'm gonna go custom just to get that right font and styling. From here though, I'm gonna change this to just say 700, and then I'm gonna do uppercase just so everything is uppercase and then the letter spacing is 0.3 I don't like that I am gonna go 
zero for now. We can maybe do 0 0.0, negative 0 0.05 or something like that, but I'll leave it like that right now. That's great. I think that's good. Again, not a real big fan of this header font, but it's what we got set up. So you'll see there's a ton of options here for you to customize specific elements and where they're pulling their styling from. So if you really want to change the blog basic grid title from this heading format, you can make those adjustments. Just bear in mind that you could start to make these adjustments here, but if you don't have the content on the page, you can't see what you're doing. So you have no idea what you're doing. So you can make a lot of changes and later on be very frustrated because you're like, I don't even like this. This looks hideous. Well, do these changes if the content is on the page. Generally, what I just took you through is what I do with a client site to get it up and running. And then as I build components and elements, if I do want to play with font sizing, spacing, any of those elements, I'll go in and do it later on.